Dear colleagues, dear friends, thanks a million for having me on the agenda of today's discussion. I am very sorry that I cannot be with you in person in beautiful Athens, but I am thrilled to be part of this important conversation. I am extremely grateful that you have chosen to include the perspective of informal carers, the group that my organization represents as we commemorate World Mental Health Day. Coincidentally, on the 6th of October, we also celebrate European Carers Day, which is a European-wide communication campaign that my organization launched a few years ago to shine a light on the crucial importance of informal care. Research has indeed shown that informal carers across the EU play a central part in providing care to individuals with long-lasting needs. This includes those experiencing age-related uh, dependency, chronic diseases, disabilities, and of course, mental health issues. Today, between 12 and 20% of the EU population is involved in informal long-term care. In Greece, this figure rises to a remarkable 34%, according to some sources. Informal carers, that is, our friends, our neighbours, our family members, contribute a staggering 80% of all care in Europe outside of a professional context and, in many cases, without any professional support. A noteworthy aspect of this is the gender dimension, as it is primarily women who provide informal caregiving as daughters, as wives and as partners. But the provision of informal care does not come without a cost for informal carers themselves and for society as a whole. Without proper support, many carers face additional expenditure related to the condition of the person they care for. The caregiving responsibilities can become a barrier as they try to access education and employment. Working carers often find themselves in a precarious balancing act and are sometimes forced to reduce their working hours or leave the job market altogether. This, all of this, also has an impact on their income and pension entitlements. When it comes to the theme of today's discussion, the correlation between caregiving, physical and mental health is also well established. Research has highlighted the stress and burden associated with mental, with, sorry, with informal caregiving, which presents all the features of a chronic stress experience. An enduring physical and psychological strain, high levels of unpredictability and uncontrollability, as well as the constant need for vigilance. These demands often generate secondary stress affecting multiple aspects of life, including education, work, social inclusion, and economic well-being. The consequences can be severe, leading to psychological distress like anxiety or even depression. In fact, the prevalence of mental health issues among non-working carers is 20% higher than among non-carers. These adverse effects are particularly pronounced in high-intensity caregiving situations, such as dementia care, for example. I should also add that informal carers play a central part in the prevention of mental health issues by offering emotional support, recognizing um, early signs, and by facilitating early interventions. So, supporting informal carers is not just about preventing social inequalities. It is a public health issue. I therefore invite each of you in your work to see informal carers as potential partners in care, but also as individuals at risk of mental health issues. Thank you all so much for your kind attention. I hope you will have a truly fruitful discussion, one that brings about changes, positive changes, for both informal carers and of course for the individuals they care for. Thank you.